Oh yeah, baby, that's it. Everybody, George Kenner, welcome. Today's announcement day. I purchased the Eon Mira 7 Pro for my shop. Now, as many of you know, I've been working with diode lasers, doing reviews. I've done several of them. As a matter of fact, I have four more lasers that I have to review when this one arrived. Now, this was really my goal. I'm going to get to those other lasers as soon as I possibly can, but this new puppy, I absolutely love it. It was everything that I expected as it's arrived in the shop. The number one reason that I selected the Eon Mira Pro 7. I went down to the Eon Experience in Melbourne, Florida. I invested a little bit more money than the actual cost of the machine, but I felt like it was worth it for me to make sure I got the right machine. You can go back into my YouTubes and, and see that video. When I compared the quality fit and finish to all of the other manufacturers that I was considering, it just came up that this was by far the superior machine to me. The, some of the machines have what I'll call a top roller system. And the Eon has the um, belt driven system where so much more of it is enclosed along with fit and finish uh, what I considered the belt driven system which also comes in Epilogue and Protec much more expensive machines I decided this was the way for me to go so now why did I pick the Mira 7 now that's a big shout out to Alicia Spector who aided me through the sales process and let me tell you a little bit about Alicia she reached out to me and was watching me do diode laser reviews and asked if there was anything she could do to help me. And I said I was looking for some protective film that goes over glass. She actually had availability to some of it and sent me some. That was part of the, I'll call it the personal portion of the company that really made sense to me. That was one of the reasons I went to the Eon experience. So I was really looking at the Nova series. And if you'll remember in my other videos, I had put tape down on the floor to see which machine would fit in here. I was thinking that probably the machine for me would be the Nova. Well, in talking to Alicia, what I found out was for what I wanted to do, I didn't have to spend that much money. Now, what do I want to do? I want to cut some small boxes um, I want to be able to engrave glass and I want to be able to make cardboard boxes and looking at the size of the products that I make this was really all the machine that I needed at this point in time. So I saved thousands of dollars. I got what I believe is the best advice. I'm going to put Alicia's um, email address down in the comments and you could go through the same process that I did. That's what I recommend. Now, I get a lot of comments from people that say, George, why are you doing this? Well, I love making nice things for the people that I love. I don't really want to go into production. I just recently made some um, knife blocks for some really nice Damascus steel knives that I purchased. And one of them sitting on the most beautiful woman that I know's kitchen counter right now. And I'm very happy that it is there. Maybe someday I'll get to see that knife again. So... What I'm going to do in the future on the channel is I'm going to manufacture some of the products just like the knife block and show you how all of these tools could tie together to be something. Now, I, I strongly recommend everyone get a shop journal or even a life journal. It's, it's so important. So many people have desires that they want and they never take the actions necessary to get them. And one of the reasons is they don't continue to focus on these items. So um, I, I really strongly recommend getting a journal, writing down what you want, and then being true to that. There is a, I got struck by a song. Uh, I'll even put a link to it down in the description. It's by Lee Bryce, it's called Lies. And he says, the most cruel lie is the one that you tell yourself. 
If you have a desire, write it down, work through it. As they say in Keller Williams Real Estate, if it's not written down, it doesn't exist. Now, I've been a successful businessman and I've always kept a journal. It leads me to my goals. If you're thinking about buying one of these machines if, of any manufacturer and you're, you're trying to figure out which machine to buy, you're trying to figure out what your pattern or, or program is gonna be, what your, what your product's gonna be, if you're gonna manufacture, exactly what you're gonna do with the machine, write it down. Over a 30 day period, you can go back, you're going to see it all. Now, I went through a little bit of a rough time trying to help a friend that has a problem and it took some time away from me and really from what my established goals were, even probably what their established goals were. But what it did was it fostered an idea for a product. There are a lot of people out there that have a lot of problems. And I really, I, I have something that I think could aid a lot of people. And I'm gonna maybe make one of them, maybe send it to somebody that has some problems. But our problems, many of them will go away if you just journal, if you identify. Don't, like Lee Bryce says, be cruel and lie to yourself. There is a method to go about getting everything that you want accomplished. If you have any questions about the Mirror 7 and why I purchased it, um, please let me know. I'm going to show you now an unboxing and uncrating. So if you were to buy one of these, you kind of know what to expect. I, I got it, it's very heavy. It weighs about 300 pounds. Um, I, I was, how am I gonna get this thing up there? I ended up looking up the street. There were a couple of um, bricklayers there. The three of us hoisted it up there. It cost me $100, but I could not be happier with the machine. I've done my first couple of test burns just to make sure that I could get power out of the system. If you've bought one of these machines and um, one of the things, you know, I hooked it up to light burn, I can see the laser emitting light from the tube, but I can't get it to fire. You got to close the door. Very, very safety conscious machine. They even sent me a very high quality pair of um, laser glasses. Now we're gonna go over this and I, I've only done my first burn. When I get the first, I'll call it product done, I'm, I'll address that. Um, I do have some more lasers to do. The future of the channel is going to be, can you make it with a diode laser as easily as you can make it with a CO2 laser? I'm going to keep one laser that is a diode laser and that's the X-Tool D1. I'm gonna go over into the corner of my shop. I'm gonna put up some more French cleat walls so I have a place to keep it. As many of you know, I'm doing all of this in a two car garage where I can park my car in the garage at night. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I put my email in the, in the phone if You've got a question on, you know, my continued happiness with this machine. I'd be happy to tell you the truth. And I'm considering going back. I would really like to go back now to Eon to the, and talk to some of the techs as I continue to set this up. And as I'm retired and I have the ability to travel and some friends in Florida, I may just go back if they'll have me. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for your time today. And... Let's see what Mira 7 Pro and I can pull off. Thank you.